Okay, good evening. We are here tonight at Suwanapung International Airport and we are here with Cherry, the last member of the Clement Backpacking and Ministry to go home. Oh, sorry, they're still Ephraim, yeah? But she's supposed to be in the Philippines now, but unfortunately, she missed her flight. Yeah, she missed her flight. She thought that her flight was to be to be uh, a while ago, 12, 12, 12 p.m., but unfortunately, it was supposed to be last night. So she looked at her ticket, oh, my flight is still 12, 12 at noon, 12 noon. But when she checked her ticket again, it was supposed to be 12 midnight last night. And here, here we are taking our chances. Hopefully we will have a vacant slots in the plane and hopefully the ticket is still free. So we're, we're praying for that, we're hoping because Cherry, she now missed her family. She wants to be home. Now let's hear from her what are her thoughts about this situation. So we know that this is a bad situation as you can see it but maybe it's God's will. So let's ask her what what are her thoughts about this. Okay Cherry, so can you please tell us what are you feeling right now? I don't feel any feeling right now. Like so I'm we, so blank. What? So as you all know you've missed your flight. Your flight was supposed yeah, to be yes uh, yesterday. It was supposed to be yesterday midnight but unfortunately you missed it. So do you think it's God's will that you will work here or what do you think about it? Or is it just like it's just a mistake and you still want to have your chances. You still want to take your chances. Well, there's a saying that says, if there's a will, then there's a way. So I will try and try it this time. If there's no other chances, then that really means it's God's will for me to stay. But there are still so many possibilities that I can take a flight going back to Philippines. So I still have to fight for it and take the possibilities. Okay, so as you all know, I'm still wearing the Clement backpacking t-shirt because this is still part of the backpacking and ministry. And yeah, so we can see that the situation is very bad, but as what they say, we don't know. Maybe it's God's will and God's will is always the best. And one of, well, here, here is Charlotte, one of the members of the Climate Backpacking and Ministry too. And he's actually the official porter of our Nightingale. But he will not go home. He will stay here and he will find a job here for his family, for his future family. So let's ask him, why did, why did he choose to stay here instead of going back to the Philippines? So Charlotte, why is it that you choose to stay here whereas you have a job in the Philippines? Uh, <laughs> I think we need the subtitle because he's actually from which from Marshall Island or Palau? China. 